what I think most people should do, really, because it's simple and you've got a nice, sleek look then. I am on camera. You yeah. just shut up and get the gear in. Right, then. Do you think that Sandman will be there? If he is, he's mine, OK? Yeah. I measure this a bit, but this is how it starts off. So it's fairly long, and you just cut it down. Can I just, um, we haven't had any breakfast yet or anything. There's two, actually, in the back, which were, they were pretty quid each. And um, there is just a weft of curly hair which we powdered, which was, was five pounds for a big bunch of hair. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. No film in the camera. Can you just go home? And just by putting a bit of black gel through, you blend in the gap in between the real hair and the natural hair, just so you've got a decent hairline, whereas wigs are usually a very hard hairline. If it gets a bit too tacky, then that's when you start going for your back comb to beehive looks, and you just brush it up, and there you go. The whole thing is, the whole fun idea of, of wearing a wig is that it looks false. You know, I don't think we should try and, and make it convincing. People putting their own wigs on do look cheap and do look what they are. But once you spend a bit of time and after a few months you get used to how to wear it, Julian's been wearing his for months now and can put it on easily. Some days you just can't get your hair looking right somehow and uh, you can just slap on a wig and you're OK. Everything is fair. We're banking on you, Simon. Banking on you, Simon. Hoping for you, praying for you to succeed this time. All your friends at home would like it to be known that we are all waiting for your talents to be shown. Yeah, quitters just don't win. They don't win. And winners, they don't win. They don't win. So don't give a brother. Go on, go on, go on, go for it. Because of all the complicated bits that are on it, it's not going to be a cheap shoe to produce. Because it's a fun thing, I'd put it, you'd want to see it anyway, I'd definitely put it on the outside. Anyone could do that once, you know, their Doc Martens had had it and they wanted to revamp. And always be on guard, remember where you're coming from, wide open drink a drink. Where are spots and shops and lots and lurk in the city. Yeah! Not out of them all, I think this is the best one. But perhaps that's because you made that the last. Well, I was going to cut spray first and then varnish them and put a bit of fun fur on them. But you could quite happily have walked in with the clothes he's wearing, wearing those shoes, and you wouldn't think twice. OK, you think, wow, they're a bit weird. They look like something that's sort of grown from out of a ditch somewhere and sort of come to life. I think, I think they're quite easy to walk in. I was most surprised. Someone could easily do that themselves, just as this is, it's just stitched on. That would be if you, you wear a large pair of baggy socks and you yeah. pull them through the slits. You suffered as you lay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the price you had to pay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you're worth it anyway, yeah. Go on, Simon, it's your day. Because we're... But uh, I'd rather like these, because they were a disgusting pair of sort of patent shoes and the windows here I used as a cockpit and I thought that was quite a nice idea. This bit here will tie around the back of your foot so they'll stay on quite well and this bit goes between your toes. I mean you could wear them if you were you know feeling a bit silly because you can take the seat bits out. My immediate um, feelings to this one was oh gosh I must try it on. Very expensive to produce but if you could make it yourself it would be fabulous, very pretty. What, what did you say they would be about 45 to produce? Yeah. It? They'd have to be sold for about 100, yeah.
Let's go and do his own T-shirt. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just—it's like the um, the logo.